Hey guys, it's Darren with East Woodland Survival. We've got a really cool project for you today, so stay with me. So this is an awesome little project for emergency, survival, prepping, uh, even recycling. It's fun to build, and it helps a charity. Last year, my friend and I were playing around with some crystal radio set builds, and uh, we were looking at ways to increase the power output by using this jewel thief circuit. So during some research, my friend ran across a neat little product uh, from Humanolite uh, that uses a jewel thief circuit to power a small light um, LED light using dead AA batteries. So what's a Jewel Thief circuit? It's a small oscillating voltage booster uh, that will use the last bit of energy from the battery. It's sort of like an X that drains the life out of you. So if you have a battery that doesn't power an electronic device such as a remote control, radio clock, flashlight, whatever, you know, uh, the battery will most likely have enough power to run this Humanolite. It's a pretty neat little product, guys. Uh, I highly recommend it. And like I said, it helps the charity. So this is the Humanolite. Uh, it's a fundraising tool for Ears to Our World, which is a 501c3 grassroots nonprofit organization. Uh, and they specialize in a distribution of self-powered world band radios and other appropriate technologies to schools and communities in the developing world. They also provide radios for disaster relief and educational technologies uh, for children who are visually impaired. So that's pretty cool. So their mission is to enable children and their support networks in the most remote and impoverished parts of the world to receive educational content, local and international news, uh, emergency and health information, as well as music and arts programming through the use of shortwave radio receivers. So this is a little fundraising tool they use. Pretty dang cool. The Humanolite comes in a kit that is very easy to assemble. Everything is nicely printed on the circuit board, tells you exactly where everything goes, so it's pretty foolproof. I, I don't know anything about electronics and I was able to put this together just within probably uh, 10 minutes maybe. I had a lot of fun doing it also. Now there are two awesome resources online that will aid you in building the kit. The Humanolite website has a complete illustrated instructions and you can print them out or you can read them right offline. I'm sorry I got some notes on here so you just have to excuse that. But uh, it's really easy to put together. It's not a hard kit. Uh, it's very easy to understand the instructions they have on there, and there's no electronics experience required. Uh, Thomas Witherspoon also has a great YouTube video on the Humanolite assembly. You can find both links in the video description below. So here's how it works. It uses a battery. This came out of an old remote control. Uh, you know, just an old junky battery come out of a remote. And it will actually drain that battery completely. This little jewel thief circuit right here. And jewel thieves are really cool. So I save my dead batteries up and use them to power a little light. So, you know, these, uh, one of them came out of a remote, one of them came out of an old clock. And it, it's not enough power to run the clock, but it definitely enough power to run this flashlight. You really don't need a lot of tools for this. You do need a soldering iron and some rosin core solder. You're also are going to need some uh, needle nose pliers. You're also going to need some diagonal or flush cutting pliers. Now the kit has everything, if you look on the circuit board, I hope, the, hope you can see this on the camera, but it tells you exactly where to put everything. It does give you a couple options, a larger LED and a smaller LED. Now the first one I built, I built with a smaller LED, so this build is going to be with a larger one. gave me one of these for Christmas last year. This is how I found out about it. He'd actually found them in some research. So over the winter of 2016, I actually tested this to see how long I knew 
uh, AA battery would actually last in this. And I used uh, also a dead battery from a wall clock uh, that I had hanging up. Uh, it wouldn't run, didn't do anything. And the light ran. I found that the light would run about 45 days uh, on a new uh, battery. So if you figure you're only using the light four or five hours a night, you're looking at, you know, really stretching this light out 200 days or so. Check out Ears to Our World. Uh, pretty cool little organization. And also, you know, you're helping a charity at the same time when you purchase this product. This product has a lot of potential for prepping, for survival, for uh, even recycling. Um, I just find it a, a great little product to have. It comes with a hole in the back to where you can actually, you know, put this up, hang it by a lanyard. That way you could actually hang it in some place. You could also bend. The light like so if you need to use it for something else if you need this to lay flat you need the light to go up pretty neat little project super impressed with this thing uh, that jewel thief really pulls out those dead batteries so not only are you recycling using everything to its fullest uh, you're also helping a charity so guys this is Darren with East Woodland Survival thank you for watching all the links below are uh, to ears to the world where you can buy the light. Uh, the light costs about $15.95 plus shipping and handling. So guys, this is Darren with East Wilden Survival. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the woods.